Hello everyone, so today we're going to be trying this Mido in a box. Look at the cute little octopus! It's so cute! So I got this at Kinonia? Kinokuniya? I believe you want to call that. It's this bookstore. They have stationery, they got manga, they got, of course, art supplies, and a bunch of other like Studio Ghibli stuff. Really cute things. And Skull got me this box, I believe. That's the box, volume 9, knows 35 bucks. Sk <sighs> Skull really is a symbol. But also, here's the little information about it. There it is, Kino Kuniya. I did say it right. Look at it, it's so cute. But here, Mado in a Box is a monthly stationery and gift box that includes a selection of quality stationery items curated by Mado workers who have a passion for the tools inside. Each item is chosen specifically in hopes that we could connect with our community through our love of fine stationary goods. Well, let's see what's inside the box, even though I kind of already know. I'm just going to peel that off. Please don't hit the camera. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let me... This thing is so big. Okay. Made in a box, March 2021, Volume 9, Colors of Spring. So, here's what's inside a sketch, erase ink, and paint. So, in this box, I'm guessing we have a Kokio, a sharp 1.3 millimeters, um, stylish pencil. Oh, cool pencil. Artistic needs. Ooh. Perfect tool for any artist, it says. We have a Tombow Mononock 3.8 eraser. So that's what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to read it that much just because there's a lot. Also, we have a Sakura Pigma Micron 01 Black, which I already have one. So I guess another one will be fine. Allow ink to dry before erasing additional pencil lines. A paint. Sakura Koi Coloring Brush 12 Pack Set. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's also more. A Pento Aqua Water Brush. <gasps> I don't have a pencil aqua water brush i know a lot of people like them so this is gonna be my first time using one and then a blend on palette jack rickerson plastic palette slant tray and a uni ball signal 1.0 and a millimeter white i already have one of these so another one i guess kind of hurt and then a strathmore vision watercolor pad i love the strathmore pad they're so good okay oh my god the packaging so cute look at that Okay, let's see. Oh, it, I was going to reuse it, but I guess not. <laughs> the cute little stamp, the little details. They got maggots in here. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, free gift. Every Mido in a box comes with an assortment of free gifts. Enjoy popular items, new products that are not yet on the market, sample size inks, and more. Ooh. Okay, this is what I gravitated first. So much plastic. <laughs> okay, that's ripped. I was gonna reuse it, but it ripped. Oh, oh my god, look, it's so cute. It's so big. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put this now. It's so cute. Ah, uh, there's the little eraser that they were talking about. I use neat erasers, but we'll see how this one works. Oh, pilot. Oh, it's the brown one. They have like a cute little swatch sheet. That's so cute. Oh, look, how to use. Fill up a fountain pen. May require a converter. Use with any dip pen. Enjoy watercolor with a paintbrush and create your own swatch cards. Cool. I'm not going to open it yet. So much. Oh, look at this lavender. Oh my god, so cute washi tape. So pretty. Okay. The big thing. Oh, God. Ah. Okay. So this fell out. Oh, this is the mechanical pencil that they're talking about. Look at that lead. <laughs> okay. And, of course, a micron, even though I already have one. More microns. So I don't have to buy more. Oh, there's the uni ball signal. Oh, this feels nice. Okay. And. Oh, 
that didn't come. Oh, this is the, oh, and it's a baby blue. Oh my God, wait, this is the eraser? <gasps> Another eraser, cool. Wait, <gasps> I can refill it also. That's awesome. <laughs> I never had like one of these before. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool actually. Oh, I can reuse this plastic. Before. Oh, okay, that's everything. I might reuse this whole packaging, to be honest. Maybe the box, depending. We'll see. <laughs> okay. <gasps> yes, I love these. I use this paper religiously. Like, I haven't run out of it yet, surprisingly. Oh, I just love... I just love this brand. I love the watercolor paper. And it has 30 sheets. It's gonna last me a long while, perfectly. Six by nine. Ooh, what? So good. I think that's also the size I want to do my prints, actually. Here's the little plastic watercolor palette that I'll be using. And then here's the aqua. It's a small. Never used these before. <laughs> Don't know how I'm going to react to it. Then here's the koi coloring brush pens. Oh, I don't know if they're going to be chalky or... Because I know I hear the watercolor pans are chalky, so we'll see how this will do. <laughs> I never used like a coloring brush pen like this before, so this is going to be my first time using this. But anyways, let's go ahead and try something out. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Um, Kona? Whoa. It's super thick. <laughs> Oh, just realized I spelled it wrong. Well, good thing we have this eraser. Totally not on purpose. Okay, I see it doesn't erase that good. So, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> and it's smudged already, the pencil. Let's try this eraser. Uh, I'm struggling here, guys. <laughs> Let's see how this one works. I mean, it is better, at least, but better than nothing. <laughs> so weird. I kind of like it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next is the Micron pen. And then we got this, which I will try. I probably should have waited for that to dry. Oops. So with this, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. I don't know if I should just put it in here, but I think that would be a waste, so I'm not gonna use this. I will use this though. I can open it. washi tape so pretty <laughs> okay next up i'm going to do these this i like the way they feel to be honest okay let's try this one Will there be bleeding on the other page is the next question also I have. Nope, no bleeding. Not even no ghost. Okay. So, I think this is going to be a long video just for the swatching and whatnot. And it's going to be a lot of real time. Besides when I actually draw something. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty blue. Ugh. Obsessed. The purple. Leaving some room so I can watercolor it a bit. I'm gonna do the next swatching up here. Oh, that is a nice pink. 
was a highlighter pink. <laughs> this next up. Ooh. I think I'm going to actually try to do like the koi's with these just because I haven't drawn any koi's in a while. So let's do that, shall we? Ooh, that is a nice pink. This orange. That's a pretty orange. I don't think they have names, do they? Mm, oh, they do. Orange. <laughs> they have names. I just wasn't sure myself. Okay, yellow. Okay. Time to use this. Oh, okay. It comes out weird. That looks interesting. I want to see how light I can get it. Okay. Next up is this one. Okay, here are all the swatches. I'm going to let that dry up. And I think I'm going to draw a koi. Like the one on the box. At least I think I'm going to draw a koi. <laughs> I'm not really good at drawing fish. But I do try. Hello everyone, it's Voice Over Steph here from the future. So I wanted to draw the koi fish not only from the box, but also I haven't drawn fish in a while. And let me just say, this eraser right here, oh my god, the shavings were crazy. I felt so bad for my desk after this filming this video. Pencil shavings were all over the place. And this eraser too was good for the, the thinner lines, I guess you can say. The more detailed stuff. Also here, I'm going to go ahead and use the watercolor brush. You saw I took the actual watercolor like, brush in the water. I am so dumb. I mean, it. if I try to use it, you'll see in a minute I did that and I messed up with the orange. It wouldn't like, you know, it's still wet, the nib. And if it's not dry and inky, it's going to look gross and no color coming out. So thankfully the blue one, it didn't do that at first. Also, I tried to create a cute little pond for this little koi fish you'll see in a moment. Where I add the grass and dirt and stuff. This blue, whenever it's watered down, it's so pretty. I am obsessed with this so much. It just gives me the nice, like, kind of Payne's Gray look. But it's not Payne's Gray. Because I've been obsessed with Payne's Gray lately, guys. And also, I'm really happy to have this box. This is like my first kind of art box doing. Even though it's not like a scrawler box or a sketch box or a art snacks box. Hopefully in the future. Because I thought it would be nice for me to get this before school bought it for me. To try out and see if I like art boxes. And maybe every month I can do a video like this. It's, it's long editing. But I think it'd be kind of cool to get one. I'm still debating where or not I should or shouldn't because also the shop coming up. So I think after I'm done 
creating the shop and whatnot um i think i will try to get an art box i'm not gonna lie it's actually really fun also there you saw where i did the orange yeah i messed up big time <laughs> you'll see in a moment i tried to do it on the little fin right here and no color coming out and i was like what the heck but then i remembered while going still thinking about it and stuff and realizing oh it's still wet the color pigment isn't coming out so i guess i gotta wait for it to dry which you see here it finally did i love this um paper so much you guys know i mentioned in the beginning i use it religiously i'm surprised i haven't run out because it's lasted me for a whole year actually just because also i use my sketchbook for most of my watercolor stuff and I do more final pieces on the, this watercolor paper just because I love it so much. I love cold press. I don't know why. It's just everything I ever wanted and needed. It makes my life happy. Um, or is it hot press? No, it's cold press, I believe. Hot press is more smooth, I believe, if I'm wrong. Someone correct me in the comments down below. I kind of forgot right now while doing this voiceover. <laughs> but anyways, I realized I made this koi fish a little too like light and like it looks kind of dead <laughs> instead of pigment wise so i'm sorry about that also too when i do the red it looks more orangey instead of red which is when i wanted more pigment vibrancy like the ones on the box itself but it's fine i'm learning and this is just for you guys entertainment i hope you guys would love to see me do art boxes also in the future after my shop probably in let's see july august maybe in august or september i'll get an art box and let me know what kind of art box you would like to see me get the art snacks scrawler box or the sketch box or palette full i believe also is another art box there's a lot of art boxes out there so yeah but kino kunia I mean, it says on the box it's a monthly subscription, but really in the store where they had it, we just bought the box itself. You didn't have to do a subscription unless, I don't know, I believe it doesn't because Cole is the one who bought it for me. So I do not know myself if he bought it and it now sends him art boxes. I honestly do not know. But these are bo art boxes, quotation marks, because it's more stationary stuff actually at Kino Kunia than art supplies. And of course, like I mentioned before, they have mangas and anime stuff. It is freaking amazing. Kino Kuniya, if you have one, go to it. I The manga wall there is so freaking crazy. And they have art. Like, they have the arts for the animes and stuff. It's awesome. But anyways, here I am. I'm going to go ahead and do a piece with this washi tape. Also, the koi fish, when I was trying to line it with the sakura pigma, it was still wet so i decided to go ahead and do an actual piece with these instead of doodling out to get a feel for them so yeah this is what you're gonna see here i love the color of the washi tape too it's so pretty i bet kiwi's gonna love it because i know she likes like the most pastel purples and it's really cute i like the way it just looks to be honest and it didn't when i rip it off towards the end it didn't rip the paper whatsoever thankfully also too i hope you guys like this longer video type of video i feel like if i do art boxes those videos are going to be long if i did real time holy crap this video was going to be like an hour long thankfully i shorted it down to 30 minutes or so so thank god for that if not i would have went back crazy <laughs> but anyways here i am finally putting down the washi tape and here's my reference i use on pictures uh, you can follow my pinterest boards down below it's not going to exactly look like the flower. I just wanted the colors and stuff with what I had. And I went from there. Used kind of a reference. It's not exactly like the photo. So there's that. And also too, I love this like mechanical pencil. I'm not going to lie when sketching. Which is saying something. Because it's not like a regular mechanical pencil. Or like a color erase pencil. It's like, I don't know. The lid's different. And I actually like it. I think also to i guess the weight of the charcoal if that makes sense like what it is i don't know if it's like an actual like pencil if it's like an hb 3b you know like all those type of charcoals i don't really use charcoal so i don't know much about charcoal so i don't know what the heck i'm trying to say here i am trying to race it there is so much shavings like i said towards the end of this video so damn much eraser shavings i do not like eraser shavings I wish I would have used my neat eraser, but I didn't want to cheat. I mean, I technically didn't use all the art supplies in the box. I mean, there was that freebie stuff of that, um, 
what's it called, that brown thing, but I decided not to use it in this piece because there was really no point in me using it and I don't know where the heck I would put it in for the cartridge, so <laughs> anyways, here I am finally going in with the flower. I realized and forgot that when I add water to it, it's gonna spread a lot more and I should have put less down. I keep forgetting that throughout the whole, like, when I first did that, Ugh, I'm so dumb. So that was a mistake there on my part, but I still like the effect. I just wish I didn't do that just so I can have more of that light pink instead of the dominant darker pink. So tears on that, I just wasn't realizing it and I wasn't thinking at that time. But at least I know now for when I use them again because I actually really like them. <laughs> I never used brush watercolor things. Like I never tried, um, what's it called? Those uh, colored pencil watercolors. I guess you can call it that, the water soluble ones. And these were just cool. I really like the way the vibrancy is still there when you water it down. And I like how it just spreads a lot outwards. So there's that, there's tips, good things about that. The only bad thing is that I forget to not dip it in the water directly and put it on the pan set and dip and put water on top of it and take that pigment from there. But it's really, really not as vibrant which i don't like so that's only a downfall about these but yeah these are actually really good and i don't know why the heck i i thought they would be chalky when i was talking about them because they're brushes they're not gonna be chalky i'm so dumb that would be for watercolors itself so that's also my bet here i added the light green to add like i was going to do like leaves but i decided to make it like an abstract background with the flowers just because I wanted not to, for it to like focus the main focus on the flowers itself so I wanted to blur out the background so that's the effect I was trying to do and thankfully I hope I achieved it towards the end you guys will see also I hope you guys like the editing for this also because like I said this video was gonna be an hour long but I did it for 30 ish minutes just because I asked people on Instagram and discord if you guys would like longer or shorter videos or like if you wouldn't mind if I did longer videos and a lot of you said yes I would prefer longer videos I wouldn't mind you know so hope this counts I mean it's not that long I mean some of it is mostly real time in the beginning and here um, whenever I do the watercolor parts it's real time I just cut off some bits where I'm like out of the frame for like a long while and stuff so there's also that also my phone ding so hold on a moment <laughs> Well, that was embarrassing and very professional. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh, out of frame stuff. So I will admit this whole piece was out of frame just because you guys are at a top down angle and I didn't want to be too far so you guys can see the whole piece. I want it a little bit closer so you guys can see a little more up close. So some of the stuff is out of frame. I will apologize for that. I'm so sorry. I wasn't thinking about that when I filmed. But I do realize it towards the middle when I stop recording to go get some water. So, there's that. Sorry about that. <laughs> also, another downfall from the these um, this box, actually. The watercolor brush. Oh my god, it's so tiny. I just needed a bigger brush. I wanted to cheat so badly and use my own watercolor brush that I have. My Raphael ones, which are my like favorite watercolor um, brushes of all that are professional and not cheap so i was kind of like dying but it's fine i guess i still went with it with the flow and all that jazz so that's all that matters here i was trying to add the darker green and blend it out to have like shadows and stuff and like i said have that abstract look effect so i was trying to do that and oh my god it was just so hard to get it to like blend together because it was already dry some of it was still wet but it was just so hard for them to blend together just because when it dries up it leaves that sharp edge instead of like a soft edge which is what i like so i guess that's also a downfall with these they're more sharp edge when they're dry instead of a soft edge which i prefer and i was sad about actually when i was looking at it but it's fine i still love this piece overall i love the vibrancy of it i love this paper of course so i will be using these with my actual brush from now on and hopefully you guys will see more videos of me using these or live stream wink wink but yeah i really do like these hopefully i can use them enough where they can dry out so we'll be seeing how long that will last <laughs> also too 
if you guys don't know every year i do in my favorite art supplies video so these will be added into that the wink wink nudge nudge um just a little you know preview of that little hint hint <laughs> but yeah anyways here i was when i noticed it's out of frame so i tried to move it down where you guys can see towards the bottom more i was gonna give this piece to my mom for mother's day but i already got her so many things so i was like um i can just get her something like this next year and kept this for myself because i actually want to make this into an art print i really love the vibrancy of the colors and everything so if you guys do want to buy it it'll be in my shop hopefully in july because i don't know if i'm gonna make it for june just because i have so many things going on and i'm still not done painting any of my clay pens as of right now doing this i've only done the oranges and the blueberries still gotta do all the clarabels the blob boys lemons blue not blueberries god pears peaches an apple pear i believe i also painted the pears actually so technically i finished the oranges blueberries and pears so that is my bad but yeah i still gotta do that and i still gotta make the stickers because i still haven't even learned how to use my cricut maker yet because i wanted to get the clay bins done painted and then resin also there's so much stuff i need to do so thankfully right now while i'm doing this voiceover i will i am on vacation mode which means no full-time job work for me for four days and i will be using that spare time to work on my shop and mainly paint my clay pens hopefully they will be done before i go visit also ec for sunday so we can do some videos and art supply stuff so there's also another video coming out hint hint wink wink nudge nudge <laughs> so there's that but anyways there's just so much i'm doing right now and then in july too i will be gone a lot hopefully only three days because family wise and that's when i want to launch my shop sadly and i was thinking am i going to be able to do this <laughs> having a full-time job doing this am i ready for it i don't know we'll see where that takes and i also have a video of me still in the works of that actually another hint hint future video <laughs> coming <laughs> soon <laughs> anyways oh no i think i need water <laughs> <Glow up. laughs> but anyways though i do hope you guys like this piece as much as i do it's really cute and vibrant i just love the color so much i honestly don't know what i would name the piece for when i do sell it on my shop maybe i might sell the original one i'm not sure i kind of love it too much to not sell it so there's that but maybe i'll do some more with this brush and maybe sell the original ones too because i am going to sell original artworks in my shop i'm not going to put them too expensive just because some of them aren't that good and i feel like not many people are going to buy original stuff i feel like so i'm just going to make them kind of cheap so you guys will see in the future when i launch my shop there's just a lot of things i want to add to my shop and some things i want to also add to my shop like maybe after with the clay pins because i don't think i'm going to do more clay pins it takes too much time out of me so that's why i wanted to do a larger quantity for my first shop so they're all like i guess first come first serve and i guess you can call it the only ones that are going to be selling in my shop because i will not be making any more of them sadly just because they take too much time like i said and i'm working full time i just don't have time <laughs> like literally it makes me anxious and i'm only one person and yeah i mean school's gonna help me paint them but he didn't help me make them just because i wanted to do them on my own and i felt like i should be doing it on my own instead of having help which i'm also going to talk about in my video that it's about my shop anyways <laughs> enough of that before i ruin some of the content for you guys here i went ahead and used the pastel peach color for the flowers finally and oh my god when i added water to it it is so so light like oh my god you can't even tell so i kept going back and forth you'll see in a moment with the watercolor brush and the brush pen itself or the watercolor brush pen itself i don't even know god <laughs> i also want to buy these watercolor brushes actually or whatever the heck these are that, that are popular i forgot the name of and the bigger ones instead of the small size like i actually like it i'm not gonna lie i kind of see the hype i guess but i still love my Raphael brushes nothing can replace them <laughs> they're just everything but yeah hopefully i can buy some and oh my god this um signa 
ballpoint white pen you'll see in a moment like holy crap it's so more pigmented than the jelly sakura ones that i have and i don't even use them no more so i'm thinking of also in my etsy shop i'll be selling some supplies that i don't use no more ha <laughs> ha so <laughs> just just so much stuff i'm gonna add to the shop and i hope you guys are ready for as much as i am so yeah anyways <laughs> let me know if you have these watercolor brushes or the you know just these koi brushes because i would like to know let me know some techniques also because i don't know much about it i literally went into this without knowing how to use them i had to learn myself usually i do that so you guys can see what it's like for someone who's never tried it to try them out without knowing how to use it and i think that's kind of cool i like seeing people's first reaction stuff and it's also a series i have so yeah first impressions and reviews i really like this box i love the supplies some of them have ups and downs pros and cons actually but yeah that's all for this box i really like i'm hoping i can use that brown thing cartridge i gotta figure out what the heck i'm gonna use anyone also let me know down in the comments below what i can use for to put it in i guess i mean it's brown i can use it as like of course a brush pen because all i have are black ones so i guess it'd be cool to use a brown one i don't know i thought it would be cool though to see what i can create with that also i hope you guys have a little water break while watching this video because this is a premiere haha -ha. i know what you're thinking what the heck stuff <laughs> while i'm typing more haha -ha, probably but yeah get some water right now you guys take a take a water sip every time i say so and um like literally i say that so much i don't even know why like i just don't know what to say so i'm like um yeah like that literally don't even know but yeah this is a really long video for me to talk of but i actually have stuff to talk about in this video because this kino kino box is actually really cool i love it so much i'm not gonna lie the vibrancy of these koi brushes i just wish i kind of knew more how to use them also here's me using that signo uniball white gel pen look at the vibrancy against that pink it looks so good i actually really like this compared to like using the jelly one so i will be using this more actually and also my posca fine line pen and here i got really annoyed because it was still wet and i wanted to fine line it with the micron so i went ahead and brought out my blow dryer i have and dried that baby so quick like holy crap i just wanted it to be done and over with so i can go ahead and line it and you guys can see the results and i kept you can see i put my hand against it because it already looked dry so i was like yes it's dry i can finally put this away and line this baby up i was gonna leave it like this but i was like you can't even tell what the heck they are so i went ahead and used the sakura or i mean the micron pen to line out the flowers and stuff i kind of gave it more of a sketchy look instead of like a i don't know what to call it like a fine like a detailed i guess fine line i don't know how to explain it guys it just looks a lot more sketchy than like those ones that are um what's it called pigmented and they don't they look like repeated i guess you can call it that so i didn't want that i wanted it to look sketchy so that's exactly what i did i left that sketchiness behind and then added everything to the piece it just looks so good chef's kiss for me the vibrancy of this and all of it all together just makes me so happy and i love flowers i love the pigment i love the pinks i love the greens <laughs> and i love the yellow it's not too bright because i thought it was going to be like a neon yellow thankfully it wasn't so yeah also too whenever you water it down of course it's not going to be like a highlighter one but some watercolors are like that's really weird actually <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys really like this video let me know if you guys like longer videos i know my sketchbook tour was like 26 minutes long so yeah hopefully you'll see more longer content with me and we can chat about things maybe you guys can give me some topics actually so i can talk longer in these videos because sometimes i don't know what the heck i'll say <laughs> but i mostly talk about my shop just so i can give you guys like little updates and stuff of where i'm at and when this video is kind of posted so yeah just let me know in the comments down below anyways here i am some people born action look at that also on the left side you'll see in a moment there is still some what's it called the washi tape didn't i guess 
go on right which is weird it left some of that yellow green bit sadly but it's fine it doesn't bother me too much and besides i can also cover it up with like a posca pen or white gouache but it doesn't bother me too much and yeah let me know if you guys would love to see this as a print because i know i do and i'm gonna make it for you guys because i love it that much to make out make it out of a art print god i can't even speak but anyways after i'm done showing you guys this it's all glorious i went ahead and finally go back to that koi because it is nikki and it needs some help because now it's finally trying and won't bleed and yeah anyways that's it for the video here's the all the supplies i use in this video and this kino kaniya art box but yeah hope you guys have a good day good night morning whatever time this reaches you see you guys in the next video or live stream who knows <laughs> and until next time guys bye Mwah. kisses bye <laughs>